Welcome to the third video in this four-part video series for the ASR 9000 series line card. In this video, you'll see how to uninstall a line card from the Cisco ASR 9000 series router. Before you begin uninstalling the line card, make sure that you have all the required tools and equipment with you. Ensure that you follow the ESD safety instructions. You must wear ESD gloves to prevent electrostatic discharge. Wear an ESD preventive wrist strap and attach its end to a grounding terminal. If the grounding terminal is on the chassis, ensure that the chassis and the rack on which it's mounted are also grounded. It's possible for one person to uninstall the line card. However, to ensure convenience and safe handling, it's always advisable for two people to carry the card. Online insertion and removal and graceful shutdown of the line card are both supported. We recommend graceful shutdown of the line card. After which, disconnect and remove all interface cables and transceivers from the ports and install dust plugs to protect the ports from dust. To protect the ports from dust, be sure to retain the dust caps on the line cards throughout the uninstallation procedure. You're now set to uninstall the line card. Note that this video shows how to uninstall the line card from a chassis with vertical slots. If you want to uninstall the line card from a horizontal slot, follow the instructions in this video holding the line card horizontally. Use a screwdriver to loosen the captive screws on either side of the line card. Simultaneously pivot the ejector levers outward to release the line card from the backplane connector. Do not pull the card to unseat it from the chassis backplane. Use the ejector lever to unseat the card. Hold the ejector levers and pull the line card halfway out of the slot. Now, hold the line card and gently pull it straight out of the slot, keeping your other hand under the line card to guide it. Avoid touching the line card's printed circuit board, components, or any connector pins. Place the uninstalled line card on an anti-static mat or on the pink foam. Inspect the backplane of the uninstalled line card for any damage. If there is any damage, contact Cisco Technical Assistance Center for further assistance. If you plan to return the line card to the Cisco Asset Recovery Team, immediately place it in an anti-static bag. You have successfully uninstalled the line card. If you plan on leaving the line card slot empty, install a filler card to keep dust out of the chassis. This also maintains proper airflow through the line card compartment. For more information about uninstalling the line card, refer to this guide. The final video in this four-part video series shows you how to repackage the defective line card. To avoid any damages during the shipping process, please ensure that you return the defective line card in the original RMA packaging.